Good morning, afternoon, evening, everybody. My name is CJ Peacock, and today I'll be leading you through a fit ball exercise. For this exercise, you will need one exercise ball and a pair of dumbbells. Uh, to get started, we will begin with a few cardio exercises. So let's start with a march. Go ahead and join in. We'll do this for about 15 seconds. And if you'd like, you can also hop into a high knee. Got about 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, getting that heart up, heartbeat up a little bit. We're gonna move into some jumping jacks. If you're still slowly warming up into the exercise, go ahead and do side jumping jacks, just like this. But we're gonna do 25 reps. So here we go. Looking good, feeling good. Getting that heart rate up a little bit. About 12 more here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, everybody. I hope that you guys are feeling a little warmed up. Got that heart rate, heart rate increased. Now we will move into our exercise. To start off, Go ahead and grab that ball. For the next three exercises, you can either use the ball or not use the ball. It's completely up to you. We're going to start off with some squats. If you would like to use the ball, you can put it above head and go down. Or you could put it behind you and use it as a target, just like this. And back up. And back up. So let's get started. We got 15 reps of squats. Here we go. I'm going to go overhead. Now let's get started. One, two, three. When we are working on our squats, make sure that our knees are bending inwards. Make sure that we're keeping our back straight, which is the primary purpose of the ball. Got about eight more. And five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, everybody. Our next exercise is going to be a lunge twist. If you're using the ball, go ahead and go out into a full lunge and then twist over that high knee. We're just going to hold the ball right up front, go back, and the other side. Twist over that high knee. We got, we're going to do eight reps on each side. Here we go. Left foot out. Twist over the high knee. And back up. Good job, everybody. Twist over the high knee. And back up. Seven more each side. Here we go. Feeling good. Looking good. Six more. Feeling good, five more. The purpose of the ball in this exercise is to keep the upper body engaged and stabilized. We got four more on each side, here we go. Halfway there. In this position right out in front of us, our shoulders are engaged. Working on the stability muscles in the shoulder. All right, we've got two more on each side. Let's bang those out real quick. Feeling good. And we got one more on each side here. And last one. And good job, everybody. Take a few seconds, catch your breath. We're going to move into our next exercise, which will be calf raises. For this, you can either put the ball overhead or set it down for a minute. For this exercise, I'll be setting it down. We'll be focusing on extending through those calves. We're going to go up, hold for a few seconds, back down. We've got 10 reps of these. Here we go. 
up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, and down. We got five more, five, four, three, two, the last one here, and one. All right, good job, everybody. We're going to move into a new position. We're going to be seated on the ball with our dumbbells, so make sure you grab those. I will be using 10-pound dumbbells just to make it easy to show you guys, but go ahead and increase or decrease the weight if you like. We'll be seated right on the dumbbells, and we're going to start with an overhead shoulder press. 90-degree angle at the shoulders right here with our elbows. We're going to go straight up. Got to do 10 of these. Here we go. 10. Now, make sure that we're keeping our back aligned. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one right here. Looking good, everybody, and one. All right, our next exercise will be a lateral shoulder fly. For this exercise, you'll be palms forward, right at, the, right at your sides on that ball. Go up to about 90 degrees and back down. We're going to do 10 reps of these. Here we go. And 10. Nine. Right. For this exercise, if it's a little too heavy, go ahead and decrease the weight. That's okay. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, last one here, and one. Good job, everybody. We've got two more exercises in this position. We're gonna, our next exercise will be a bicep curl, palms forward, both arms coming up at the same time, right to the chest, and then right back down. For form-wise, keep those elbows attached to those sides. We're going to do 10 of these. Here we go. Six, we go halfway there, here we go. Five, four, three, two, last one right here, and one. And then one more, one more exercise in this position. We're gonna be doing some hammer curls. So we're gonna have our palms facing inwards on the sides, and we're gonna be alternating arms. I'm gonna start off with the right arm. You go up. And back down. We're going to do 10 on each side. Here we go. Up. Down. Up. Down. Just like the normal bicep curls. Keeping those elbows attached to the sides here. Don't want any momentum taking away from our bicep gains. we got six more on each side. And five more on each side. Here we go. Five. Five. Four, four, three, three, two, two. Last one on each side here. One and one. All righty, good job, everybody. We're now going to move into a new position on the ball. We're going to be laying with our back on the ball in a chest press position. So go ahead and get down to your back just like this. For, the, for our next exercise, we'll be doing a chest press, holding with our palms in, and going straight up with both. We'll be doing 10 of these, and here we go. If this is a little straining on the neck, go ahead and lay out with your, ground, or with your back on the ground. Got five more. Three, two, and one. Good job, everybody. We're going to stay in this position for one more exercise. We'll be, we'll be doing lateral chest flies. We're holding the weight out. 
to our sides and bring it in right above us. We're going to have our palms in the whole way and we're going to do 10 reps. Here we go. 10, 9, 7, 6, halfway there, here we go, 5, make sure we're controlling that contraction, 3, 2, and 1, alright, good job everybody, for this next exercise, go ahead and put the weight down, we'll be needing that for a while, for our next exercise, we're going to lay on our sides on the ball, just like this. Use that hand as a little bit of a stability. We'll be doing leg extensions, just like this. Keep those legs flat. And we're going to do 10 on each side. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job, everybody. We're going to flip over to the other side. If you need a second, go ahead and pause the video. Well, if not, let's keep rolling. Go ahead and put that aside. Use that arm as stability. And we're going to be working on the same same muscles back here on the side of our legs right here. Side extension up. We're going to do 10 of these. Here we go. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. Looking good, baby. Four, three, two more. Here we go. Two, and one. Good job, everybody. We are now going to switch our position once again into a push-up position. If you'd like to increase the intensity, go ahead and lay your feet on the ball. And if you'd like to decrease, go ahead and put your knees on the ground. At first, we're going to be doing 12 push-ups followed by a 30 second plank hold. So let's get started here. Either feet in whatever position you prefer. I'm gonna be up on the ball. Gain your balance, stability. And then we got 12 push-ups. Here we go. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, Seven, half there, six, five, four, three. After these two reps, stay in this position, hold the, hold the plank. Two, and one. All right. Drop down to your elbows here. We're going to hold a 30 second plank. Here we go. Okay, be shaking a little bit, just working on the stability muscles. Got about 20 seconds left. Here we go. 15, halfway there. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job, everybody. Go ahead and take a few seconds. Catch your breath. And we're going to move into a supine position where we will be laying on our back with our feet on the ball. Go ahead, take your time and get into this position here. We're going to start with some bridges. For a bridge, have both your feet on the ball and extend up through your hips and through your glutes straight to the sky. Just like this. Hold for a few seconds and then come back down. We're going to do 10 of these and then we're going to do a reverse plank one bout of 30 seconds. So here we go. 10 bridges. 
two. Should be feeling good. This is a good exercise to catch your breath. Got five more halfway there. Four. Three. Two. And last one here. And one. Good job, everybody. Hope you're feeling good. We're going to move into our 30 second bout of a reverse, of a reverse plank. For this, it will just be like extending like the bridges. But we're going to hold this position for 30 seconds. Go to this position, and let's get started. And go. It's also a good one to catch your breath, work on the stability muscles. Should be feeling this in the glutes and the lower back. That's okay. If you're feeling any discomfort, that's okay. If you're feeling any pain, that is not okay. So we'll go ahead and stop. So we got half, we're halfway there, we got about 15 more seconds to go. And 10. Looking good, everybody, hold it. Five more seconds, four, three, two, and one. Good job, everybody. We are now gonna move into a cool down. So go ahead and kick that ball away, wherever it will be so it won't affect our stretching. Catch your breath. We're going to stay seated and move into single leg hamstring stretch. We're going to hold this for 15 seconds and then switch sides. Go ahead and get started. This is a good time to focus on your breath. Reduce that ventilation a little bit. Reduce that heart rate. Alrighty, we're going to switch legs here. I hope you enjoyed our main workout. Now we're just going to work on some flexibility. Alrighty, going to move into an over or a crossover leg glute stretch. So we're going to have our left leg straight on the ground, our right leg is going to cross over. We're going to lean over that right leg back and should be feeling a stretch right in our glutes. Hold this for five more seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right. Kind of switch sides here. And the same thing. Cross over that left leg now. If you've enjoyed our workout, check out some of the other videos that our class has posted as we greatly appreciate it. Alrighty, five more seconds here. Four, three, two, and one. And we're going to do our last exercise on the ground is a butterfly. 30 second hold. Have our feet right out in front of us. Pull those heels in a little bit. We're going to lean forward right here, catch our breath, close your eyes, get ready for the rest of your day or night, because we're almost done. Got about 15 more seconds here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to move into a standing position now. To finish out our stretching, our next uh, stretch will be a quadriceps pull. If you like, you can use a wall as an assistance for balance, but we also recommend that you don't and work on your balance a little bit through these exercises. So we're going to do a 10 second pull push, hold on each side. Here we go. 10 seconds, a good balancing tip. If you hold your belly button or put your hand on your stomach on top, over your belly button, it'll help you maintain balance. Five more seconds here. Four, three, two, one. And switch sides here. Left leg up. 10, 
and one. Good job, everybody. Now we're gonna stretch up the stretch out the upper body a little bit. Right arm pull across. Hold this for 10 seconds. You could either hold that arm at the elbow or above the elbow. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Right at the elbow, hold for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Gonna move into an overhead arm pull. Right arm, right in the middle of our back, pull that elbow back. Should be feeling the stretch right on the outside of that shoulder. And five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and switch. Pull that elbow back. And two. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, everybody. We got two more stretches left, and then I'll let you guys go. We're going to spread our legs here and do five hip rotations, both directions. Start in a clockwise direction or counterclockwise if you're watching this on video. Two more. And switch, other direction. Four and five, and our last stretch right here is going to be a side stretch. We're going to just bring that arm right overhead, hold this for about 10 seconds, and then switch sides, and then we'll be done. Five, four, three, two, one. Thanks for sticking along with me. Other side. Five, four, three, two, and one good job everybody thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it and go check out the rest of our youtube if you like this video thank you